Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of August 17th through the 23rd. So what do we have for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, August 17th through the 23rd. We got one. You're going to be going through some sort of change this week. Could be an unexpected change. Could be a divinely guided change. Um, I feel as though you may be dealing with some power struggles. And there could be some instability in your life. But whatever is happening, there's some divinely guided major life changes this week. Seahorse, family matters. You could be dealing with a family, somebody in the family. Funnel, period of frustration, lessons to be learned. Hard work, that's the first one that came out. Hard work ahead. So you do have some hard work ahead. Ego, triumph over troubles, obstacles. This is victory. So you will be victory, victorious over whatever is going on. Chain, chain of events that will affect your life. So you're going to be going through something life-changing. You know, you've got a life-changing event that is happening this week. And it's like, you know, you think about the chain of events, kind of like dominoes, you know, how, you know, one thing falls apart and then boom, 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 boom. So yes, that's what we got going on here. Looks like you're going to be victorious, but you got some hard work ahead. There's a lesson to be learned through all of this. And this has to do with somebody in your family. Could be you. I don't know. But there's some family issues here. So what do we have for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn for the week ahead? Ooh! Ah! The tower. The tower reverse is something you've been avoiding. You've been of, you have been, but you can't avoid it forever. You can't avoid it anymore. This is a painful change, okay? That you never saw coming. It was, it was. There was a delay. There was some sort of delay in this happening, but now here it comes. This is a major disruption. This is an obstruction of some sort. This is a shock. Okay, there could be some extreme health problems, could be with one of your family members, could be with you. This is extremes, okay? This could be some sort of loss that has been avoided for some time, no longer avoidable. You, This is a, a need to rebuild from the bottom up, okay? This is starting from scratch, okay? And, and I think that there's been an avoidance, there's been a delay in this uh, rebuilding, okay? There's been a delay in this... Uh, well, this is a clean out, right? This is starting with a clean slate. This has been needed for some time, but there's been some sort of uh, delay. The delay is over. The delay is over. You are about to experience a pain. And this is painful. It is. It's, it, the tower is a painful event, okay? So that is an event, okay? So, this is, so there's going to be a moment that that has been you know, delayed, that changes everything. And this is the very beginning. So it's that tower moment that you never saw coming. It's like, it, all of a sudden, there's extreme, uh, I mean, it's burning. It's a burning. It's, something is burning. It's, it's, uh, 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 it's extremely, it's painful, whatever it is. Uh, this is, uh, it hits. It just hits all of a sudden. Out of nowhere. This comes out of nowhere. Four of Wands reversed. So the Four of Wands reversed. This party is over. This is a very messy situation. And you. This is a need to clean up. Um, 
This is not something you're going to be celebrating, unfortunately. There could be an upcoming get together, but I don't, I feel like this get together is to clean up. Empress may have something to do with a mother and a child. Um, this is about ready to pop. But to get that miracle or that blessing, there's pain involved. Which I know there's some pain involved here. The Empress is a rebirth. This is the birth of a new life. May have, Like I said, this may have to do with mother and child or something like that. But the Empress is unconditional love. She is a natural. This is about your growth. It's about experiencing the pain that brings you a miracle. So there's gonna, you know, there is some sort of pain. Some of you may be giving birth this week or getting pregnant or you hear news of a birth or something like that. Anyway, the Empress is very abundant. She does everything with love. This is the birth of a new life. But it comes after pain. Bottom line, it does come after pain. And this is painful. This is like the contractions, okay? So, I mean, it is. Five of Pentacles reverse. Now, this, the Five of Pentacles reverse could be... Um, insecurities but it's usually a turning point but it doesn't have to be a turning this is the end of difficulty the end of darkness this is light at the end of the tunnel this is some sort of you know uh, it could be a turning point after a major loss this is a major loss this could be a turning point there may have been some sort of um, neglect or something like that. Somebody may have neglecting. There, somebody did something. Uh, there's regrets here because of the hand on the head. There's some sort of, but this is a turning point. It's the end of difficulty. Somebody's been in a difficult situation. They were able to uh, manipulate in some way and make it work out. They can't. It's done. Okay, it's done. So this is definitely the beginning of an event over here that leads to uh, a new life. This does lead to a new life. Death. Death reversed. King of Swords. Seven of Swords. Feels like there's a, there could be some bad luck here. I think that's a, I don't know, it looks like a black cat. Um, Knight of Cups. The Hierophant reverse. So this is disgraced. And this is disgraced as well. Uh, interesting. We have somebody that's having a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure. There's poor counsel here. This is news. Challenging information that is coming. There is some sort of challenging information that is coming. Two of Swords reverse, seeing the truth, lies being exposed, some sort of exposure, uh, opening up. Hold on, let me just make sure that this is zoomed in. The Two of Swords reversed is a delay. There's been some sort of delay. The Death card reverse is a delay as well, and the Tower reverse. So there's been some sort of delay. There's been delay of a change. The change has been delayed, but the delay is over. This could be, a, and I had to say this to you, and it may be somebody that in your family that you're dealing with, but death could be a near-death experience. And, the, and when I say near-death, death can be physical or it can be... Um, Not physical. I can't think of the word for it. It doesn't have to be a physical death. It can be a transformation, an inner transformation, you know. Um, mental, you know. The death of the old you, you know. There's a major life change here with the tower right next to the death card. Okay, that is a major life change that has been avoided. Okay, there's it's been it's been prolonged. There's been a there's been a, a change that has been needed for some time, but somebody was was able to get away with it. They were able to not make this change, but this change is coming. There's going to be an event that, 
you know, probably give it's a rude awakening. Okay, the tower is a rude awakening. This is a wake up call. So, um, you're going to receive some challenging information from somebody that is in a position of authority. The King of Swords is a professional. Okay, this is somebody that is in a professional position. Could be a doctor, could be a lawyer, um, could be a director, whatever it is. This is some sort of uh, challenging information from somebody that is very skilled in whatever they do. When they give you the information, it's a fact. So you're going to receive some factual information that changes your life. Okay. Uh, it may have something to do with a family member. Okay. Maybe this person, because this party is over, you know, and this is drinking. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with somebody that drinks a lot. But anyway, the Knight of Cups is also somebody that, um, it's a very emotional. It's a very emotional time. You may be feeling emotional. Okay. Um, it's sensitive. This is definitely a sensitive time. I think that you're going to be receiving emotional support. Okay. I think that you have an opportunity. You see, that's an Ace of Cups right there. There's an opportunity for, for emotional fulfillment here. There is. But it does come after some sort of situation. Um, I think that with the Seven of Swords, somebody's been getting away with something. There's some sort of self-deception here. Seven of Swords is lies, it's betrayal, it is running away, it's um, uh, taking a risk, stealing, uh, cheating, lying, getting away with something. Um, something's, I feel like with the hero font reversed, uh, there's a lack of... Uh, Just poor counsel. This is poor counsel. The Hierophant is somebody that, that has given some sort of poor advice or poor counsel. Um, this is feeling disgraced. The Hierophant is, is, is disgraced. Uh, there's a relationship maybe uh, no longer on the same page. This is somebody we have somebody here that is under a lot of social pressure. They may be controlled by a father figure. Okay, but this is a father and this is a father. We, there, there could be a father figure here that is, that is in the picture that has uh, given some poor advice, okay, or has guided somebody because this is a guidance, okay, so they have guided somebody in the wrong direction and now there's a feeling of betrayal. There, there is, there is, there's, there's some sort of regrets here as well. I think that, and if it's not a father, it could be somebody, it could be a teacher, it could be a doctor. It feels like, for some of you, I don't know why I feel like it's a doctor, but I do. You may be receiving news from somebody in some sort of profession, a medical profession, or a counseling, or a doctor. I just want to keep the saying, it's a doctor. It's challenging information that may make you feel very, very emotional. Now, the death can be a near-death experience. Like, I already talked about that. This is a profound change that is coming. You have been able to avoid. Um, two of Swords reversed. That is opening up. Okay. There's been some restrictions. Okay. Um, You may be feeling overwhelmed with the Two of Swords reverse. There could be a lot of fears. There could be a lot of worry. There could be a lot of stress. You could be very, very worried about something. There's a lot of worry here. I think that with the Seven of Swords, you need to be careful. You need to be careful. Maybe you need to get a. You want to get a second opinion from somebody. Um, this may have to do with with having children or some. You know, something about mother and child. Um, there's definitely some challenging information coming this week. It has to do with a family, you know. Um, maybe it's a family member. Uh, for some of you, there could be somebody coming in that is emotionally supportive, that really, really loves you because of that Knight of Cups. That Knight of Cups is somebody that, you know has feelings for you that is very uh, caring and kind and loving and they want to support you. So I think that you have some support from somebody. Um, but you you may not... 
You may not trust them. You may be blocking them for some reason. Um, this is cheated. This is cheated. We have a mother that may be feeling cheated. She, she, you know, the empress doesn't have to be a mother, but it's it's a very beautiful woman that. Um, She does everything with love, but this is cheated, feeling cheated. So somebody may be feeling cheated. There could be a loss. It could happen suddenly. There could be a, and I'm not trying to scare anybody, but I'm just saying, um, I do feel like there's some sort of challenging information that is coming. Um, This may make your head spin. I see the spinning wheel. It may make your head spin. Uh, maybe dizziness. Maybe you're experiencing some dizziness. This may be a little bit too much to handle. It may be. It may be. I think you're going to receive some sort of news that, you know, this is hard work ahead. It is. It absolutely is. Period of frustration. You're going to be victorious, but you guys, this is the beginning of a very hard journey for you. And I am sorry. But look at this, how it even falls, how they're laid out on the table. Chain of events that will affect your life. Hard work ahead. Family matters. Period of frustrations. Lessons to be learned. Triumph over our troubles and obstacles. You will be victorious. But there's some sort of painful... And it's maybe it could be a release or something like that. Somebody has has not been getting some good counsel, the good advice. The Hierophant reversed is somebody that doesn't, may not have all the experience. We could have somebody that is very selfish with the Hierophant reversed. Maybe it was um, somebody in a position of authority that made a decision at, for their own selfish reasons. And, you know, somehow you got involved and now we have a downfall of something we have a we have a major disruption this person was under social pressure they were being controlled you know they had a big ego something like that it's almost like there's repercussions here i think that you're definitely going to be in your feelings this week There is light at the end of the tunnel, but it's going to be a lot of, a lot of hard work to uh, deal with whatever this is, because that tower is a complete rebuild, completely starting from scratch, completely. This is this is a major disruption in your life, and it could be even internal disruption. It could be in your body. Okay, there could be something that isn't functioning, and all of a sudden you get this this pain you know it's unbelievable pain or maybe you've been in unbelievable pain you know and you're you know you're seeing a doctor and they're going to fix it and you know it's going to take a lot of hard work to you know get back into perfect health the empress is about perfect health she's very healthy But this Seven of Swords is definitely being cheated, feeling cheated in some way. You may need to be flexible. You may need to be. You may need to be flexible this week. Be open to changing, you know, the schedule. You know, be open to changing the schedule. Be open to... Um, Seeing things in a different light, I feel as though there's going to be a sudden, uh, this is very sudden, it comes out of nowhere, a sudden um, I don't know what it is, it feels like it's an, it's a, well, whatever it is, it's pain, you feel it, you feel it, you feel the pain. You may end up going to the hospital, I'm not trying to scare anybody could be an obstruction of some sort. It just comes all of a sudden. It could be one of your family members as well. You the, you could be supporting one of your family members that is going through this. 
um, whatever is going on, there is some sort of love around you. There is somebody that is going to be uh, taking care of you. Um, you may be in a relationship that is growing. This may make your relationship grow stronger with somebody, whatever the situation is. Um, this is definitely a wake-up call because the eyes are going to open. It's really going to open your eyes. So you have an obstacle. Something happens at the beginning of the week. It could be happening now. Whatever this is, it's the beginning of uh, some sort of uh, situation in which you're going to have to work hard. You're going to have to work hard to overcome this pain. So I don't know what it is, but it is, you will overcome it. You will be, you will be victorious, but it's going to take a lot of hard work and you're going to get frustrated. This is about learning a lesson. It is definitely about learning a lesson because that's this period of frustration, lesson to be learned. This is really going to open your eyes. There's definitely been some poor counsel here. With that hero font reversed, this is somebody that is, that has is is very much under a lot of pressure and lacks integrity and does things for their own good. So I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that is in a professional situation, a professional. Um, I don't know. You think of professionals could be lawyer, doctor, something like that. This person is not. They've done something who, I don't know who this person is. This is being controlled by somebody in a position of authority that is questioning their authority that is doing something for their own benefit and they it's not the right thing to do. You know what I'm saying? Anyhow, there's going to be a conversation, okay, maybe from a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. This is somebody that is in a professional position. This person is going to give you some information that probably makes you feel very, very emotional. It makes you worry. It's probably going to, because the Two of Swords is extremely worried, anxiety. It's going to make you feel fearful. I feel like... Uh, it's really going to be quite a surprise. You're going to be shocked. Um... The death card reverse could be an incident or a disaster, you know, some sort of something turns out, you know, not like you thought it was going to turn out, but, but there's a new beginning here because the Empress gives birth to a new life after pain. Okay. So I think this is like a painful situation and it's that, that leads to a new life for you. Okay. It's, and it's a beautiful new life. It's a blessing in disguise. The, the Empress gives birth to a blessing. <clears throat> so I think it's going to be a difficult week. And I do apologize for giving you this message. But it's our difficulties and that make us stronger, right? It really is. It's what builds our character. And you're definitely going to be building character this week. This is definitely a character building week. Put it that way. Good luck.